Hello, I hope you've had a lovely Good Friday. The fine weather many of us have been having is going to continue as we go through the next day or so. It's all because of this high pressure currently now sat over Scandinavia. It is going to allow some weather to push in from the east, but it's keeping these fronts in the west at bay, at least for the time being. However, as we head towards Easter Sunday, we will see these fronts marching their way across the UK, particularly overnight into Easter Monday, bringing a spell of rain then, with further showery weather following in behind. So real change to more unsettled conditions as we go through the latter part of the long weekend. Back to the here and now and through Good Friday evening you can see a bit of cloud pushing in from the North Sea and there will be some outbreaks of rain here overnight particularly around northeastern England and eastern parts of Scotland. Elsewhere there'll be largely clear skies and under these clear skies temperatures taking a bit of a dip whilst it perhaps won't be quite as cold as last night we could still see a touch of frost in some prone spots and watch out for some mist and fog forming particularly in the south as we head towards the end of the night. As we go through Saturday, yes, it is going to be quite a cloudy start across these eastern, northeastern parts of the UK with further outbreaks of rain. But a lot of the cloud will break up as we go through the afternoon. And so for many, it is actually going to be largely sunny. Watch out for, though, some fair weather cloud bubbling up as we go through the afternoon, particularly across central and eastern parts. With a decent amount of spring sunshine, yet again, it's going to feel pleasantly warm for most of us. Temperatures perhaps a touch higher than on Friday, getting, getting to highs of around 16 or 17. Celsius. Later on on Saturday we are going to be aware of this front starting to push its way in from the west. This is going to lead to winds particularly across Northern Ireland strengthening later on and then we'll see some outbreaks of rain initially across Northern Ireland but perhaps later on for Western Scotland too. Elsewhere it is looking largely dry. Yes it, it will be a bit cloudier than some recent nights so I'm not expecting temperatures to fall quite as low but it will still be a little chilly for some perhaps a touch of frost in the most prone spots where we have some lengthy clear spells. Through Easter Sunday itself then, yes, there will be some cloud around, a bit more than we have seen through some recent days for quite a few of us, and outbreaks of rain across parts of Scotland and perhaps Northern Ireland too. But for many, again, it's going to be largely dry and there will be some decent sunshine, particularly during the middle part of the day. And in that sunshine, again, temperatures taking a bit of a rise. We're likely to be even warmer than through Friday and Saturday, could get to highs of around 17 or 18 Celsius. But then our attention turns to this weather system, a band of rain that's going to start to push in from the west as we go through the afternoon. That will then sweep its way eastwards as we go overnight into Monday. So some getting off to a wet start on Easter Monday, but that rain will clear away fairly quickly, but it's not then going to turn completely dry. Further heavy showery rain will follow in behind, and that could lead to some heavy downpours for some, particularly across parts of England and Wales, perhaps Northern Ireland. Notice across parts of Scotland here, at the moment, it looks like it could stay largely dry, but a bit of uncertainty in the detail as to where exactly the worst of the rain is going to be. Temperatures on Monday are still going to be a touch above average for the time of year, though with the wind and rain, it's going to feel a little bit unpleasant at times. Now, if we take a look at the bigger picture as we head through into Tuesday, and there's this deep area of low pressure that's going to track in from the Atlantic, arriving later Tuesday, then sweeping across the country as we go into Wednesday. This is unseasonably deep, and so we are expecting some very wet and very windy weather. Again, a bit of uncertainty as to exactly where that low is going to track and so where we're going to see the worst of the weather, but definitely worth keeping up to date with the forecast for that on both the Met Office website, our app and our social media channels. See you later.